Inshallah, we start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brood and salams on the best of creation. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The theme of loyalty. To understand loyalty and what it means to be loyal while we are here on this temporary earth. Let's go back. Let's go back to where loyalty began. Let's go back to the or our origins. When was the first time we claimed to be loyal? So there was a time, long, long time ago, before we came to this world, the world of spirits, where Allah Azawajal, out of his love and his mercy, he had already created out of his love all of creation, all the spirits. The skies, the mountains, the universe, the angels, the jinn, the human spirits. And then he wanted to share, he wanted to share an amanat, a trust of love, the trust of free will. He wanted to share this beautiful trust of free will so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do what he likes. The angels are praying, the mountains are obeying, the solar system is obeying. But Allah says, who would like to take this trust of free will and be loyal with it and worship me out of your own choice? Now, who took that trust of loyalty? If you can hear me right now, online or sitting down here, each and every one of us have taken that trust of loyalty, the loyalty of love. Oh Allah, we will remember you. We will remember you. Oh Allah, we will also follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Oh Allah, you send us the righteous and the pious, We'll, we will help them. We will help the prophets, O oh Allah. We will remember you, O oh Allah. Give us this free will. Now what happens with the trust, with loyalty? How do I know that you are loyal here to me? I've got Yusuf here. I've got Shokat here. Now they're my friends. I like to think they are. Yeah, one is smiling, the other one is uh, hiding his face. Now, there's a rough neighborhood. What's the roughest neighborhood in Woking? Well, maybe there isn't. Let's say Shearwater. Now, now, both of these brothers say, Look, so you've got some business. I've got, I've got some business in Shearwater. I need to see a bad man horror in Shearwater. And I need some backup. Yep. Shoker then. Yusuf said, look, Sadi, we've got your back. Whatever happens, we've got your back. We're walking down the mean streets of Shearwater. A gunfire goes off. Hurun's dog starts barking. Yusuf runs. But Shokat stays. I was going to do it the other way around here, but I know. Yusuf can handle it. Yusuf runs, but Shokat stay. Who is loyal to me? Both were claiming their loyalty. The first bark of Horam's dog, Yusuf's pegged it. He's back in sunny Perford and Mabry. But Shokat has stayed. But that was the test of loyalty. Both are claiming to be loyal. Now we've come now into this world. This is the world of test. Everything that's going to happen here, the day you're born, the day you pass away, the day you pass away, your examination of loyalty ends. So the day we are born here, the first element of loyalty is to remember the covenant. But Allah loves us so much that he sent us prophets to remind us. Allah loves us so much, he's kept people 
the awliya here on this earth to remind us about the Prophet who is a manifestation of how to manifest our loyalty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, we are here in this world, we are complaining and complaining how the world has let us down, how people have let us down. I will come back to who are the three entities who are most loyal. And it links in by understanding your origin. But loyalty is is such an important factor in our lives that we utilize it day in and day. Even the military, the USA military, ranks loyalty so high, they made a chart between loyalty compared to ability. Obviously, the most desired is high ability and high loyalty. But when it comes to high ability and low loyalty, they get rid of those Marines. And they keep on, they keep the ones that have high loyalty and average or below average ability. They understand the element of loyalty. Now, do we understand the element of loyalty? Who should we be loyal to on this planet while we're here? Who's never let us down? Number one, everything points to Allah with you. The loyalty that we took in the world of spirits. Allah will be loyal to you here. Now how are we going to be loyal? We need to make the mind shift. How much does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love us? I try to remember there's a there's a um, from, from the companions in the story now look at that love that Allah SWT puts between a mother and a child. Now when the child, if you ever experience this, if a child is absent from his mother, doesn't the mother's heart worry? There was instant, there was an incident in Medina Street where a child was lost and the mother was panicking all day. Not just lost for five minutes, lost for a whole day. Then another day. I think it was three days until the child was found. She panicked all over the town asking, where is my child? And then the companions are seeing the mother, and when the child is found, the companions are seeing the relief and the love and the meeting of the mother with the child. And the Prophet mentioned that your Lord loves you infinite more, 70,000 plus more than what you see there. How can your Lord? And it gives you opportunity after opportunity. A Lord that loves you so much, is he gonna throw you in the fire of hell? All you and me have to do is show the loyalty back. How do we access that? By prioritizing Allah with you. By prioritizing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ramadan is one of those tests of loyalty. But does it finish at the time of Eid? Personality number two, the Prophet the reason for our creation. Allah shared His most beloved with us. He sent His most beloved to this earth. And He is the man who is offered the riches of the world. All the women of Kresh, all of the positions, all the riches of Kresh, he turns it down. Why? Because the loyalty he gave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remind us of the message. He's going to remember us on the day of judgment. But all of us, men, mothers, are going to stand on top of their children to get her away. And he is going to be there for us. Now that's loyalty. The prophets and the sacrifices they gave. Look at the loyalty of Prophet Ibrahim Islam. Allah was a joke, command sacrifice your son. What did he do? He sacrificed. And Allah SWT replaced him with something better that we commemorate on Big Eid. 
for us, it's just a feast. How many of us are willing to sacrifice our children for the sake of Allah? When it comes to this world, do we, we want the best for our children, do we not? We want them to be the best engineers, the best doctors, the best business people. And if they're not the best, and they're the worst, what do we do? We send them to the dars, let them go learn the deen. And then we complain about our situation as a Muslim, in the light, you don't know nothing, send him into the dars, they will deal with him. We're sending our worst to the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then sending our best to earn the dunya here that the Prophet gave up for us. Gave up for us. Yeah, we're sending, we're given up on our children. The ones that we given up on, Jullo, put him in the dust. Let him go, let, let him learn. What are we sacrificing? Third personalities are those. How many of us have a relationship? with anybody and there's nothing else in between it, just Allah. Have we found anybody on this planet we can have a relationship with just for the sake of Allah, nothing else? No blood tie, no money, no business, no other matlab, no, no other reason in between. Would we not like that? Or are we been let down? We've been let down by the world. We've been let down by our families, our bosses, our business partners. We are crying in our houses. I've done this for this person. I've done this for that person. But they've let me down. Then we start looking for these people. Because we, the imams don't want to know us. The politicians don't want to know us. My uncle doesn't want to know us. Because I've now I had the best job, I've lost it. I had the best wife, now I'm divorced. My children are left me. Everybody's left me. I've got nothing. I'm in problems. But the doors of the friend of Allah, the friends of Allah, their doors are open. That's when we majority of us, that's when we end up finding them. And then what do we do? Something to reflect on. What do we do when our problems become better? Whether it's mental issues, health issues, jinnat issues, magic issues. If you're a friend of Allah, please make dua for me. Give me a solution. As soon as our matter is a little bit better, what do we do? We chip. What loyalty is this? As soon as our matter is a little bit better, I'd rather go over there. His karat is a little bit better. I'd rather go sit with a celebrity scholar because it makes me feel good. You become a man of feelings now. Now my matters are better. Whereas when that person then lets you down, you go running back to the friend of Allah whose doors are still open, whose zabia is still open, whose mentors are still there. Have we ever thought about giving the best sacrificing the best for Allah Zajjal. Imagine if Allah SWT has blessed you with good mental health, with good physical health, with a good job, with a decent business, and you turn up to the friend of Allah Zajjal. Oh friend of Allah, I am here. Allah has blessed me with this. I ain't done nothing. I ain't done nothing. Allah has blessed with me. Now, Show me how to give back. How many of us are ready to do that? How many of us as parents are ready to tell a son who's now a consultant, who's now a big businessman, to go in the way of Allah? Sacrifice this for the sake of Allah. For this is not yours. Allah has given it to you. Now go and give your best to Allah. Don't wait till you're old. What are you going to give then? So this, gather just this more for myself, just to come and be reflective. Because we have this chance in Ramadan 
to make a change, just to become reflective. Let's think about what are we sacrificing for the sake of Allah. Think about everything that is given us. Do we only remember Allah and his Prophet, peace be upon him, and the friends of Allah when we are in despair and in problems? Or are we still connected to the friends of Allah and still complaining and moaning about our little problems? My husband isn't doing this. My wife isn't doing this. My children are not listening to me. My business is not doing well. My health is not so good. Or are we ready to sacrifice the best of the best that we have and use the friends of Allah to get closer to Allah? So this just make this month of reflection. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk about what we can do. But the first thing we need to do, we need to make a mental shift. We need to ponder into people of thinking. Don't be people who are sitting on the fence and can't decide which way to go. Because even shaitan wants loyal people. Even shaitan wants loyal people. He's got no interest in lazy people who can't get out of their bed, can't do anything. He wants people who can do something and can fight for a cause. And there's many of those. Maybe we'll touch on that tomorrow, inshallah. Jazakallah hai. Subhanallah wa alhamdulillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa alayhi 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 wa for our sins. Allah, you forgive us for the lack of our worship. Oh Allah, you are Rahman, you are Rahim. Allah, you, we are not loyal people. Allah, you make us loyal. Oh Allah, give us the strength to be loyal to you. Oh Allah, oh Allah, you have all power and all might. Give us some of that power and might so we can stand up and follow the Sunnah of the Prophet. Allah, you give us the strength. Allah, you make the intentions. Give us the tafiq to be the one of the friends of Allah. Allah Ji, allow us to be people of not complaining, but complaining of the lack of our Sunnah, of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah, you are Rahman, you are Rahim. Allah Ji, forgive us for our lack of loyalty. Allah Ji, forgive us for our lack of loyalty. Allah Ji, allow us to become people who can sacrifice for your sake. Allah Ji, give us the best. Allah Ji, give us all the best of health. Allah Ji, give us all the riches of this world. Allah Ji, give us the best children. Allah Ji, allow our children to be followers of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Ji, give us the best of the best so we can sacrifice the best for your sake, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, you are Rahman, you are Rahim. Allah Ji, don't ever leave us for a moment. Allah Ji, never leave us to ourselves, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, put the love of the Oliya in our hearts. Allah Ji, allow us to see the truth. Allah Ji, put the love of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in our hearts. Allah Ji, put the love of you, Allah. Allah, allow us to follow you for you. Allah, wa salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ibn Abdul Umi wa ala wa salli wa sallam. Allah, ya Rabbi Bijahi Sayyidina Muhammad ibn Abdullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yiji ma baini wa baina Sayyidina Muhammad ibn Abdullah Ishu dunya kabla akhra. Amin.